Calling all citizens. Super Earth needs your help. Ask yourself if you have the strength and courage to be free. Join the cause and help protect freedom from tyranny with the gentle touch of an iron fist. Become a hero and take a dive into hell on date night. Super Earth needs our help. The Federation of Super Earth has been abundantly clear that the only way to strengthen the bonds of our relationship is by protecting freedom from our enemies. Nick, my guy, he needs a hug. Oh, <laughs> come here. Thanks, man. <laughs> There's no oh. better place for a hug than on the battlefield of democracy. Dedicating your life to one another is a big step for a relationship, but dedicating your life to liberty is the biggest step of them all. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. <laughs> Enlisting in the Galactic War effort was just the couple's getaway the two of us were looking for. And besides, nothing kindles a romance like freedom, peace, and democracy. Get to the ship! You crawl into the ship! No, dive into the ship! <laughs> Nick, you're stressing me out. <laughs> <laughs> We've both had plenty of fun with the first Helldivers, so when word of a sequel caught our attention, we knew it was time to throw on our capes and lay down our lives once more for the cause. So long as there's a disorganized and mismanaged planet that needs our attention, we're ready to drop anything and everything to answer the call of freedom. Why are we in this situation? Uh, cause we're Helldivers. As humongous fans of the first iteration of the series, we were a little skeptical about how things would translate from top down to third person. But to say we were impressed is an understatement. It's remarkable how smoothly things translated over, and it's really an incredible experience seeing the mechanics from its predecessor come to life in the new format. Did you know tips are shown during these transitions? <laughs> <laughs> In the previous installment, I felt the rush and intensity of a dive, even just looking down on my little armored character spinning around in her cape. Alright, I'm calling one of you back in. You're what? Oh, you guys are back in. Oh. I think I liked being dead. Oh no. Oh, ouch! Can I go back to death, Ben? But this brings things to life exactly how the battles used to play out inside my head. The fact that all the action and intensity gets amped up to 11 this time around only makes things more of a blast now that I'm actually in the shoes of the diver. Yo, I look so cool! Now there's a hell diver. <laughs> as soon as we dropped into our pods for the first time, I could tell this was going to be a great game. The adrenaline pumping through my veins as the pods break stratosphere has the good Samaritan in me screaming in the name of justice. Few games can fill me with the rush and exhilaration that dropping into a dive does in Helldivers 2. The bringer of family values has deployed. Dropping into the pods with a full team of four is a liberating experience to say the least. No expense was spared in the name of spreading freedom, and I've never been so prepared to lay down my life to protect the future. I died. Man down? <laughs> Woman down? Playing this game with a group of people has to be the best way to enjoy it. There's just nothing quite like seeing your four ships in a fleet jumping across the galaxy to deliver justice. Charging into lethal combat guns blazing is heroic enough, but doing it with three other champions at your side just cements an unforgettable experience with friends. Whether you spend the evening shooting aliens or each other, the bravery that we share in the battlefield is unparalleled. Whoa! Oh, that did a little more damage than I thought it was. <laughs> Killed by Malibu! <laughs> Oh no! Oh, uh, that was an error. If the courageousness of the cadets isn't what gets me going, then it's got to be the absolutely ridiculous ship names that we came up with. Why is the bringer of family values? No, thank you. The bringer of family <laughs> values? <laughs> That's actually amazing. I love that. That's okay, so I might just, good. That sounds, I might just that keep sounds it. almost ominous. <laughs> The pride of pride. <laughs> the pride of pride. When it comes to difficulty, you've got nine different levels to unlock and play with. Our group tends to push the boundaries a little bit with the difficulty setting. Admittedly, it can be a little stressful at times for me. Oh, I think you missed. Here, I yeah, got it. I, I missed that one. I missed oh, that look, one. Out, look out, look <laughs> out! Jesus! <laughs> Especially since on more than a few occasions, I found myself in the shoes of the last one standing while everyone is waiting for me to call on reinforcements. If you thought I was bad at fumbling the stratagem codes on a good day, then you should see me when I've got cyborgs on all sides and have all three of my teammates watching me too. <sighs> Such are the consequences of playing with my masochistic boyfriend and his equally masochistic friends though. Oh my oh. god. 
Damn it! I just oh, died. Oh shit! We're getting flanked. Okay, burned. Chris, we we gotta we gotta we gotta throw a revolve. If you guys can for any of us. There's no cover out oh, here. Oh, we we can't we can now we can now. Okay, let's see here. You can okay, do it. I'm gonna probably it. die. Yeah. Oh, yep, I called him back. it's I just you, turn. Okay, I'm running. Nice. nice. Thank you. Good job, Taryn. You'd think it would happen once in a blue moon, but being reckless seems to leave me as the last woman standing all too often. It's exactly why I tend to fall into the support role in games like this, but sometimes support boils down to just chucking reinforcement stratagems over and over and over again. I'm gonna try to land on them. <laughs> <laughs> Time to liberate. When you get the flow of calling something in enough times, you'd be surprised how quickly you start memorizing the inputs. By the end of the evening, I had the reinforcement strategy memorized and would call it in practically involuntarily whenever someone went down. Who, who's memorized the the uh, respawn? Oh, I have, I have, I have. Oh shit, I just died. Oh no. <laughs> up, down, left, right, up, I think. During respawn, it was always a coin toss if you were going to get crushed in the original game. Oh, oh it almost killed Terran. <laughs> But here, you actually have some symbol to control over where you land. That's either a good thing or a bad thing depending on your companion's intentions. But I think it's a net win since we also get to crush the enemies with the pods as well. It's always some mix of trying to land strategically while also not crushing anyone on the way down for me. And if there's an opportunity to squish some bugs when I come in from a respawn, then you can bet that I'll take the term fashionably late to new heights. Oh, she <laughs> almost landed on me. <laughs> <laughs> she was looking for revenge, Nick. Playing on higher difficulties might not be the optimal way to play, but then again, we're here for a good time. The missions may take us way longer to complete when we're getting annihilated by angry terminators, but man, is it fun to overcome the more difficult challenges. Yep, we're all I'm boarding, boarding, we're all boarding. Okay. Stand by for <laughs> <laughs> yeah! Oh, that was God. insanity. Oh my god, I like level 6. <laughs> <laughs> when we started out, we didn't have access to a lot of variety in our weapons, and nothing made that more apparent than when we started dialing up the difficulty setting. Nonetheless, we still pushed the edge of what our starting gear was capable of, because who doesn't love a good underdog story? Grenade bin! Oh, grenade! That was so close! That was so... Dude, that was terrifying. <laughs> it's moments like that that make this game special. Yep. Every diver needs the right tool for the job, and that's where our hard-earned credits get spent. Whether it's upgrades for our firearms, stratagems, or maybe there's a shiny new cape to twirl, there is no expense to be spared in the quest for managed democracy. We learned the hard way that no one weapon is the answer to every problem. And when going into a mission, you've got to bring the right gear for the threat you're facing. Oh, I just realized, Nick, I never bought the upgrade thing. I see you guys have, like, stuff. Stratagems? Well, I'm about to use all the stratagems, just on supplies. <laughs> <laughs> As the only member of our team that thought to bring any kind of armor piercing around, I feel like I'm the only one that reads any of the item descriptions. Oh, back up, help. Taren. Taren. Help. Taren, back up. Okay. Oh, armored God, boy, okay. armored boy. That's my job. The two factions threatening Galactic Peace are the Terminids and the Automatons. From our experience, one of these things is not like the other. Oh, you weren't kidding, Chris. Look out on your left. I know, dude. They're <laughs> mobilizing. <laughs> I'm so scared. As it turns out, spreading organized democracy is quite a bit more difficult when the enemies can shoot back at you. Diving into a Terminid mission with the boys is just another day of liberation for the crew. But coming home from a mission with the Automatons has us all bandaged up and limping to the extraction point with that thousand yard stare. Oh, go, Nick, go. Trying. Oh, oh, Nick, go. Oh, I made it. Yeah. Oh, oh, Chris, go. You got this, Chris. You got Come this, on, Chris. Chris. You we got can this, do it. Chris. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Even though the automatons are much more challenging, they're probably our favorite missions to play with a full group of four. Getting humbled a little by the enemies of democracy helps to build character and tighten the bonds of our group. Oh, uh, Taryn. Yeah. Uh, there's a uh, explosive. <laughs> <laughs> Th thanks, Chris. Yeah. As we've come to learn, the organized chaos born from watching comrades get mowed down and caught on fire is invaluable in the pursuit of freedom. For Super Earth, you know, I'd do anything. <laughs> yep, for Super Earth, of course. Gladly. Being flanked and outnumbered by a group of freedom-hating robots is just the resolve we needed to serve justice. I'm getting the 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 a flight of World War II style deaths. I got landmined. I got burned alive. <laughs> reviving him. Things can change in an instant, and the tide of a fight is never certain on the battlefield. Turn behind you. Check your six. Okay. Switching guns. One minute, we can be feeling good about ourselves and check out a point of interest or a side mission off the beaten path. And then the next, we're suddenly completely overrun with bugs crawling out of our ears. Hey, how's it going, Nick? Protect me. 
Oh, Ben, I can't protect you from that. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. I'm out of Oh, no. I just got freaking. Do you need me to call on you guys? Um, no, oh, not I yet. I just died, Nick. I just got freaking launched. Okay, um, I did two. Twice. In the beginning, we'd practically crawl to the finish line of the main missions, but as we got better, we started seeking out more and more of the optional goodies. With time, our confidence turned into cockiness, and we inevitably bit off way more than we could chew, and got knocked back down to earth for a super reality check. Take back what I said about this being as easy as the last one. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> wait a minute. That <laughs> was like half an hour ago. <laughs> I think I said that, and then all of a sudden we found this area. Each of us has a role to play in carving out the foothold of democracy, and by taking the harder missions, we're doing our part. It may only be a drop in the bucket of peace and freedom, but every little bit counts. <laughs> Two points. <laughs> we held. <laughs> Staying to complete the mission until the bitter end is far more noble than evacuating when the heat gets turned up. Right, I'm gonna go see if I can take out a couple of the nests, but we should try to just extract. But the mission, Ben. But the mission. There may be some humiliation and a shameful return, but laying down our lives for the cause can absolve us of that guilt. Whether we complete a mission or die trying, we at least know we're helping to make the galaxy a safer place. Remember, there's never a bad day to die for democracy. Oh, man I, down. Uh, I could not escape the dreadnoughts. <laughs> uh, can anyone get Chris? I got him. Calling in reinforcements. Thanks guys, I'll be better next time. Calling in stratagems involves inputting codes using the directional keys on the keyboard. And for my boyfriend, it may be a game in and of itself. <laughs> they knew, they figured out my favorite part of the game. Watching him knock out the inputs next to my own and post only makes me realize how horribly slow I am at calling in support. Whether it's his experience with the number pad or his days of inputting cheat codes on the PS2, he's able to knock them out with speed and precision that I could only dream of. Is the ore for freedom? Freedom ore. <laughs> You just put that in so fast. That's fun. It's like a game to me. It's a good thing too, because usually calling in reinforcements means we're already on the back foot and don't have a lot of breathing room to stop and look at the codes. Stratagems can be both offensive and defensive. Uh, okay. Yeah, I so I think it would go that way. I got Chris, he's coming back. I'm sorry. But everyone tends to go after the flashy ones like weapons or turrets. Although my favorites are the support ones, and you'll usually find me with a resupply pack on my back. Having the title of team's designated pack yak is somewhat of an honor at this point, and falling into the role of team mom is a given. Tactical retreat. Ben. I need snacks, Terry. I have snacks. I actually like being the main source of ammunition for the crew, because it means that they don't ever wander off too far and leave me behind. Hey, can I get some snacks? I, 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 oh, oh. Yeah. Now I really need some snacks. As the only person who ever remembers to pack snacks for a mission, I've got lunchboxes filled with stims, bullets, and fruit roll-ups for the whole team. Yeah, I can toss this some ammo. Or Taryn got it, it sounds like. I got it, I got it. Um, I can give you some snacks, just get over here. Yeah, we all need Ooh. some fruit roll-ups. I'll give everyone a fruit roll-up. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're the best. Don't trade it for candy. <laughs> Don't oh, trade help. it for candy. For all of Super Earth's advancements in the tools of war, bullets still seem to be the best way to negotiate. Nice yeah. precision strike, Nick. Yeah, I love that game. Perfect. <laughs> good, good aim. <laughs> Ammo management is a keystone for every successful Helldiver. Nothing is more embarrassing than coming face to face with a terminated Lieber and hearing your rifle click. Oh, I need to reload. Reloading your weapon is integral to the spread of democracy, but always take care to not do it at the same time as your fellow divers. Of course, if you're me, then reloading your weapon is superfluous, as it's much more work than just picking up the one your dead boyfriend just dropped. Watch out, grenade behind you. That was such a cool God. jump you did. <laughs> Thank you. I think I have your rifle right now. Isn't it fun? It's very fun to just mash. I'm gonna pick up I my- I have this star wall. Oh, okay, you have my gun now. <laughs> That's fine. After getting called back from a reinforcement, you've gotta decide whether or not to just jump right back into the heat of combat or try and scavenge for your stuff off the ground. More often than not, one of us probably died for a pretty good reason, and I'd have to wager that their stuff may be surrounded by a swarm of baddies. You'd think it would just make more sense to call in a freshly loaded gun and leave the old one behind, but sometimes we get stubborn about letting the bugs win. Even still, a form of currency called samples are also dropped, and greed often gets the better of my boyfriend. Ben, we gotta go. Oh, I'm dead. No! I just dropped so many things. Oh, There's no. seven and five. Oh. Do I risk it? I don't even know if I... Pelican's arriving. 
Let's get out of there, Nick. Grab him and go. I got him. Oh, you're running past the last I one. Get in. Get out of there. Oh, God, Nick. Don't do it. Just get out of there. No. Just get Should out. I, do I get on? Do I get on? Oh, no, wait. For get him. on. Just get on. I can't get it. I had eight and Damn. six. Oh. I tried. <laughs> I mean, she made it out. The thing about ammo is that reloading prematurely will waste whatever bullets are left in the clip you're using. I'm the absolute queen of firing off two rounds before instinctively pressing R behind cover and accidentally tossing a half full magazine into the trash. Call it a bad habit from games that allow fractional reload, but it's better than not having ammo when you need it. You can't always expect the enemies to hit pause and give you the breathing room to reload, but unfortunately bullets don't grow on trees either. There's no shame in calling it a supply drop, but make sure you're not doing it as often as me and raising eyebrows about why all our stratagems are getting spent. I accidentally called Called in a resupply if anyone wants anything. A resupply at the beginning? I, it was an accident. Dodging bullets and explosions has always been a staple in Hell Divers, but playing in third person adds a whole perspective. Whoa, oh, Nick! Oh, jeez, dude! How is your neck? <laughs> no choice. My boyfriend is infamous for spending most of his time on the ground rather than standing. Going pro not only makes you a harder target for the enemy, but also reduces the recoil of your weapons. <gasps> There's a big one! Nick, get out of there! I'm coming, I'm coming. I'm coming. Dives over <laughs> the top. <laughs> In the original Helldivers, diving onto his belly was his best defense against the most dangerous enemy of them all, girlfriend friendly fire. You can use your little laser to tell you where you're gonna Sorry. be shooting. I'm really bad at the laser. I don't know why, but Terran being in the back row is making me really nervous. I know, same. Diving prone may have its practical uses. Ben's in trouble, guys. Oh shit. I can't. Thank you. Ah. Oh, that was Ben. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Nope, we're good, we're good. But there's also a goofiness factor at play as well. I wonder if you can shoot on the ground. Oh. oh. <laughs> Nothing seems to be more fun than diving prone while unloading your weapons to a crowd of hostiles. These days, mashing the alt key is less of a defense mechanism and more of a means of entertainment. <laughs> <laughs> that will never get old. Launching yourself head first off a cliff or into a rock makes the characters ragdoll in the best ways possible, and almost makes me forget we're fighting a galactic war. The seriousness of our cause will all but disappear the moment I'm staring down the side at a group of enemies and then see him go hurling face first over the ridge next to me. Someone just jumped off. It was me. <laughs> Friendly fire always has and will always be the bane of my boyfriend's existence in games. It doesn't matter what game it is. If there's a way for me to hurt him by accident, then I will inevitably do so. In Helldivers 1, it was my grenades that caused the most trouble for us because anytime you saw a laser sight point in his direction, he knew to hit the deck. Watch out, watch out. <laughs> which <which's laughs> Oh no. Did Terran? Did Terran just die? <laughs> that was my bad again. I shouldn't I shouldn't use grenades. <laughs> to be fair, I was trying to use a grenade and while I was sitting there trying, I um got grenaded. Although here, it's undoubtedly my aim to watch out for. I haven't had much practice with my sprays, so it's best to make sure you're never between me and a bunch of bugs. Honestly, you'd have more luck standing between an auto turret and a target, because even if it's a one in a million shot across the field, leave it to me to somehow beam him in the face and kill him with a single mouse click. Everyone should have a friend like me. Okay, we're surrounded. Let's get out. Let's go to the extraction. Oh! That was me. My bad. Between the ravenous insects and the hulking machinery, sometimes the most dangerous hazard of them all is your fellow Helldivers. Uh, did someone just press an orbital strike? Was that me? Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oh, look out. My bad. But you know who your real friends are by the way they laugh harder than you do when you accidentally dome them. What's a few shots of friendly fire between friends anyways? Oh no, Ben's mines again. Yeah, I stepped on Watch one. your step, Chris. Thank you. I just fan. there's so many little embers floating in this game. Like <laughs> yeah. It's, oh, you know, cool. Oh, ow! What? No, Chris! Oh, ow! He dived on top of one, and it <laughs> started a huge chain reaction behind him. It sent him forwards, but they all blew up around oh, him. You're dead. No! Yeah, it killed me! No! The good news is, your friends' lives are a small price to pay in the name of liberty and justice for all. So no harm done. Oh, they're firing back. Whoa! Uh, I am dead? Wait, Me why too. are my call-ins wrong? Ben just called in a napalm and killed everyone. <laughs> no, no, legit. 
I'm typing in I'm typing in the normal ones and it's not uh oh Chris you gotta call oh, no. it a reinforcement. <laughs> Chris, uh, first day on the job and his entire platoon goes down. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll take care of you. We're veterans. Even after the most grueling dive where our backs were against the wall from start to finish, it's all worth it when we see the shining light of liberty from the stars. The job of a hell diver isn't always easy, and it's not always pleasant, but making the dive always pays off when the sparklers start sparkling and the finger guns get popped. <sighs> it sure feels good to be on the right side of history. Ow!